welcome to this Back from the Dead edition of Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about the fucking mid-80s awesome horror classic, Reanimator. Re What's going on, America? This is Phil D's. Phil D's nuts. Along Phil with these nuts with a dick in your mouth. This is the goat. As long as it's my dick in your mouth and you're a hot-ass fucking woman, Yay. I don't give a shit who is it. <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road and talk reanimated cult classes. So I know all you motherfuckers done the scene and shit. Everyone's seen this movie, man. Fucking Come on. based on H.P. Lovecraft bullshit about bringing motherfuckers to death. Movie starts out. This Dr. Herbert West, played by Jeffrey Combs. This motherfucker hates dead people. He hates, he hates them. He hates them. <laughs> He's so prejudiced. He hates it. He hates it when any motherfucker dies. So what he does is he breaks open some uh, glow sticks, pours the juice into the syringe, and starts <laughs> shooting these motherfuckers up. He gets them from raves and fucking Disney World. He just gets fucking buzzed. <laughs> And, 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 pre and, and Predator blood banks and shit. <laughs> predator blood banks. It's just fucking neon green shit. He's just fucking by the man at ten stories. He's like, <laughs> so green slash shit. But for some reason, that's how to bring fuckers back to life. Exactly. For some reason, this brings fuckers back to life in this movie. So. <laughs> He goes, he fucks up some experiments in Germany, he has to come to American fucking school and shit. Fucking Bruce Abbott plays the main lead, whatever. He's a fucking, like, a doctor in training and shit. Yeah. Barbara Crampton plays his hot girlfriend and shit. She's showing her tits all over the place, which is funny. <laughs> which is funny she's playing her tits all over the place because she ain't playing a bimbo. She's playing actually a real smart woman and shit. She's saying, yeah, like, yeah, it was just she, weird. She, and that, that made it even more hot, I think. That, yeah, yeah, actually it did. So basically what happens is there's a room for rent. Herbert West wants to come there and like he don't tell these, he just throws out a water cash like let me rent the room. He don't tell these motherfuckers he's going to start making zombies in the basement and shit. So he kills Barbara Crampton's fucking cat. Ah, <laughs> Bring, brings that what? motherfucker that There's a great scene of them running around with a fucking fake ass. <laughs> fake ass. <laughs> Fake ass cat, they keep beating it, beat it, and then they keep shooting more shit into its ass and bring it back to life. Fucking great, fucking, I don't know, comedic, gruesome scene and shit. And there's like a real motif of like shit getting thrown up against a wall in this movie, and when it does, like there's brain shit. Oh, you are not a lot, dude. Splatter coming all over. So anyway, we, we brought a cat back and shit. Time to take it up a notch. Next thing you know, shit starts going wrong. Like, Bruce Abbott's intrigued. He wants to join up with his doctor. Let's, let's figure out how to make fuckers. And this is basically the, the moral of the story is like, this lust for scientific breakthrough. Oh, we can bring dead fuckers back to life. <laughs> They're just going to jump up and start trying to kill you. Why? Why Why bring dead fuckers back to life? But it doesn't stop him. He's like, no, it can get better. I don't, I, I don't I, mind If I keep shit. shooting the same I, shit. I, I almost got killed by a zombie cat, but I don't care. I wanted to take it up another level. Exactly. <laughs> so the story becomes all complicated. The fucking Barbara Crampton's father is the dean of the school and shit. Man, he gets killed. He gets turned into a zombie. Then there's an evil professor who realizes what's going on. He wants to steal the formula from Herbert West. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Just he great. wants to be famous. He's out so zealous about being yeah. famous. He actually <laughs> says, I want to be, be famous. famous. <laughs> In the movie, he's like, I want to be famous. So Herbert West, like, he can't have this shit going. He's got to kill these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. And then, just because he can't stand to see anybody be dead, even though they're fuckers who don't like him in life, they want to bring him back. So, of course, when they come back zombies, they hate him to one another. So, basically, the evil fucking doctor man... That that is after Herbert West shit. Who actually even more? It's, it's not like good cop bad cop. It's like bad scientist, badder scientist. Yeah, man. Cause like he he ain't a fucking Rosie himself. Like he just wants mm. to fucking kill fuckers and bring them back to life. It's, it's kind of fucking. He's like fucking Frankenstein, man. He, Pretty like, much. He, so he, so so you have the war of the dueling doctors. The green juice shit is flying everywhere to bring back a whole more fuckers. Big. Epic conclusion, fuckers getting ripped apart, cut off heads and shit. We got a fucking whole mark full of zombies. I'm not gonna say anything else, but that's just fucking when it happens. Exactly. Amazing, man. So this movie just, let's be honest with it, man, it's just an excuse for gore, gore, gore. But I loved it, man. I had a great time. It was smashing some heads in, cutting some heads off, throwing some dead cats against the wall. I loved it, man. The movie could not get more funner, especially because we was watching drunk and shit. Yeah, man. Perfect movie throwing when you're a little drunk, a little high, whatever you're getting into. So Reanimator is a great splatter horror movie, man. A lot of fucking fun, I thought. I won't go ahead and give it as a movie. Eight and a half out of ten. Yeah, man. I'll let you give it. A, I'll give it a nine out of ten because I, th I think it has so much rewatchability. Like, you can fucking even make it fun with drinking games and shit like that. Like every time you see fucking green neon shit from a rave, yeah, have exactly. a drink. You exactly. know, every scene, every, every time a fucking every bad time a zombie tries, moans like, Bleh. yeah. Every time they try to act serious, like they're getting for fucking an Academy Award. Just drink. I mean, some of the, some of the, 
didn't try too hard, man. I mean, like, Barbara Crampton does get into some dramatic acting in this movie. Every time you see her, you saw some fucking titties, man. Drink and then a serious scene. <laughs> yeah, man. So, so, but, but, but that aside, it's still a great fucking movie. Great splatter, great action, great horror. You know, fucking eighties, fucking. I, this fucking set the trend, man. This is it, fucking, who doesn't love zombies, oh, man? Shit, man. What the fuck? Moving on to picture and sound, we're fortunate enough to have a blurry of this finally. Before I pretty still had a laser disc, I was watching that shit on laser disc, it looked like shit. But here comes nice. the blurry, man, looking really nice, really crisp, little clear. The only thing is a little bit of, you know, speckles and shit on the print, but still the clarity is there. You can get good detail, man. When they show Jeffrey Combs, I don't think motherfuckers were thinking about blurry because he's supposed to be like some early 20 scientists. You can see yeah, this motherfucker yeah. up close, you can see all the wrinkles. He's old as fuck. Man. He's old as fuck. All right, they did do a full remaster on the audio DTS HD Master 5.1. We do a lot of old movies, and we bitch that we stick us with the stereo. Not this, man. They did the surround sound. Yeah, it's from an older track, so it's not going to be, like, all crazy and shit, but it's still good. The music is awesome, man. They ripped yeah. off the psycho music they for did. this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, whenever that music got pumping all, you know, shit in the surrounds, I will get into it. So picture and sound, man. You know, not perfect like they would do for a Godfather restoration, but holy shit, man. Who knew who thought Reanimator ever looked this good, man? Picture and sound, I'm going to give this motherfucker 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'll give it a 7.5. I thought it was pretty decent, too. Uh, just fucking watch the shit. I, mean, I watched the shit in broad daylight, but I was still fucking scared, dude. The whole fucking surround sound <laughs> thing with the whole psycho rip-off music, man. All right, here we go. Pack with bonus features. This being a special edition. We got the documentary, Reanimator Resurrect. This audio commentary by director Stuart Gordon. Auto commentary by producer Brian using the actors Bruce Abbott, Jeff Combs, Barbara Crane, Robert Sands. Holy shit. They dug these motherfuckers up 20 years after the fact. Got them yeah, on the there. corpses are talking about that shit. <laughs> man, they ain't fucking interrupt. They do that. Interview with director Stuart Gordon. Brian using the interview with writer. Interview with composer. Music discussion with composer Richard Bain. Interview with Fangoria Magazine. Editor Tony Tapone. Deleted the same scenes. Third to try to like... What else can these motherfuckers come with? Fucking what? Three, three, two commentary tracks, documentaries, interviews, shit. Like everything you ever yeah, want to no. know, all packed on the one disc. Well, on the one and, little tiny Blu ray disc. Exactly. Man. This How ain't no three disc shit. They do fucking that? amazing, man. I really don't know what they could have come up with more to, for the fans to know everything about this movie. Special features, I gotta give that shit 10 out of 10. I'll match that shit. Yeah, I think he's right, man. You can't get any better than that. Fucking 10 out of 10. I mean, what, what more do you want? A fucking little fucking video game bullshit they went in? You know, <laughs> you know those little menu things? You yeah. can, you know. Nobody wants to play because it's so broken and slow exactly. and shit. No, exactly. No, man. They did everything. They did what they could, yeah. So that's it for Reanimator, man. Like, again, like, I think the lesson learned, leave nature alone. You know, fucking don't bring these motherfuckers. But if you are going to bring motherfuckers back to life, come on, man. Like, get some clothes on these motherfuckers. These corpses, man, there's so much, so much come on. dick and balls. <laughs> Running around in the morgue and shit. Ridiculous. 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 Yeah. I thought I was watching some old person's orgy. Man. <laughs> I know. Old man. All Damn. right. All right. Slam it! 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 Slam